Get 25% off on your next dash cam. Details inside. Hey guys, due to popular demand, I'll be doing a parking monitor demonstration on Togard's 4K 3-channel dash camera model CE66. So I'll show you live exactly how the parking monitor works. And if you didn't see my full review of this dash camera, you can check it out here. Click on this link or check in the link in the description below. And there will also be a link on where you can get this dash camera using my coupon code for 25% off. It's been several months since I bought this camera and I've been using it every day. And I have to tell you, it's been holding up great. It's a wonderful camera. Three channels is very convenient to have. I can't highly recommend this camera enough. Now to show you the live demonstration, I'll be using a portable battery from Goal Zero, the Yeti 150. It's a convenient little portable battery you can take anywhere with you when you need power where you you don't have access to it. It's got a 12 volt socket as well as two USB ports and an AC plug. Check the links in the description where you can get this battery. Now I'm going to connect the power cable into the dash camera and then I'll put the car socket into the 12 volt of the battery. And once I turn it on, the dash camera will automatically start and begin recording. This simulates the exact same thing that happens in your car as soon as you turn on the engine. Power to the 12 volt socket sends power to your dash camera and turns it on automatically and begins recording. So what you need to do first is go into the menu settings and click all the way down to G sensor. Now you can choose off, low, medium and high, but I would recommend to put it on high so that it can pick up any bumps or any events that occur to your car while you're parked. Then next, make sure you go down to parking monitor setting and turn it on. This will activate the parking monitor function. So to demonstrate, I'll gently tap the dash camera to simulate an impact of being in a car that's hit. You'll see that the dash camera powers up by itself as the lights turn on in the corner and begins recording automatically. And it will record for up to 30 seconds before powering itself off. It has a small internal battery that powers the G-Sensor so that the moment it detects any kind of impact, the camera will start up itself and record for 30 seconds and then shut off using its own little internal battery. I'll do the demonstration a couple more times just so that you can see so it's not plugged in to the battery and there's another gentle bump and the camera starts itself and begins recording for 30 seconds not having it plugged in is just to simulate and show you what happens when you turn off your car and the dash camera is just running on its own little internal battery to activate the G-Sensor during parking monitor mode. Give another tap on the table. And even that it picks up when the G-Sensor activates the dash camera and begins recording. So that's how Parking Monitor works. Don't forget to check the links in the description. It's all down there. If you've got any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'll do my best to answer your questions. And if you found this helpful, please don't forget to give a like, share, and subscribe as it really helps me out. So thanks again and until next time.